Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to try and speak up. I am just on the garage side of the door to the house, and the washing machine is busy going on the other side. So I'm going to try and keep the phone close. Uh, today's video is about flashlights. If you're like me, you're kind of too cheap to spend money on the good ones, and the bad ones, well, they always stink. So I've been using one my good one for about three years now and this is the quantum flashlight from Harbor Freight uh, it's got the some type of zoom feature on it uh, I would highly highly recommend this one I've dropped it I don't know how many times very durable it's got some rubber seals it might be um, water resistant probably is given how wet it has gotten but uh, I don't remember the lumens on this one. It's been a long, long time. I probably changed the batteries once or twice. It's really pretty bright, high, low, and then strobe light feature. Uh, I can't say enough about this one. It's It can be found, I've seen it almost every time I've been to Harbor Freight, and it ranges, I think, from like 10 to $13. I think I paid 15 when it first came out. So I'm going to put that one up on the box and I'm going to do the flip here. Uh, I kind of went a little flashlight crazy because I just, I never have what I need when I need it. I went to Harbor Freight one day and all the flashlights were on sale. So don't judge me. Here we go. This is the camping flashlight um, or lantern as it were. It's got the fold up handle and you just push it down and it goes out. I would think that would be excellent for hanging in a tent. It barely weighs anything. Uh, it's bright enough. And we will put that one on the box. Here we go. This is my new pen light. Uh, this is the type of flashlight you want if you use flashlights on and off, no pun intended, all day. Uh, I work on cars, I work in a shop, so this is what I use. I do, you do under vehicle inspections. It's bright, but it's not the brightest thing in the world. Uh, it works. I'm happy with it. Uh, it's small enough to bite on if I'm using two hands in the dark in my driveway. Uh, that's kind of specifically what I bought it for because using that other one was far too large and far too heavy and really inconvenient when I'm working alone. This one... Uh, portable folding LED work light 63930 this was like four or five dollars couldn't pass it up it's got a magnet it's got a, or a, a magnetic mounting deal high low and then the beam at the end Magnet's pretty good on the bottom. This is our, uh, our outdoor deep freeze. The back magnet could use some help. It barely holds itself on there. It will if you kind of let go really. Nope, no it won't. It holds itself still in my toolbox. But uh, yeah. Excited to see how this one works out. It does have the hook on the back for under hood use is what I'm thinking. So there's that one. Uh, let's see, what's up next? We have the Quantum Pocket Work Light, part number 58569. And this is only lit on the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Has a very good magnet on the front, on the bottom. Okay, that's not a great surface. There. You know what? <laughs> anyway, uh, I stick this. I I just bought this one again. This is my other one up on my toolbox. I bought another one because I liked it so much. The magnet is plenty strong enough. Uh, I stick it to the fender, and I aim it down at the ground, and I am able to do brake jobs at night works pretty well I love it high and low 
that's a simple one on and off and be between that one there stuck to the fender aiming at the ground and the headlight that I wear on my head at night uh, I got plenty of light this one is the flashlight of flashlights I don't care if you've got one by Braun or by Quantum or by Snap-on or whoever this is the flashlight that every mechanic seems to have now five six three two nine absolutely fantastic swivels uh, has a flashlight beam at the end it's rechargeable very neat deal there we go is there a little lightsaber hi and believe it or not that's low oh maybe not that one and there we go and uh, it folds whichever way and uh, yeah it's a it's a neat little light man um, every mechanic at the shop that I work at has one of these uh, they're probably all made someplace else and they're probably all just relabeled very very nice deal though it was highly recommended to me I'm anxious to use it but uh, we'll add that to the flashlight lineup and yeah make nice here and then last but not least is my other favorite I feel a little silly wearing this, i got to be honest, but when I'm using it at night, it's plenty bright enough for my brake jobs, for my, um, I really don't know what all the LED, uh, why the LEDs have strobe lights on them, maybe somebody could comment on that, let me know, but I have now stockpiled flashlights, I believe this was 20 this was five or four, this was five or four, this was three something, this was 15 when it was brand new or 13, however many years ago, but I think they're 10 now. And this was seven, and this was 10. Check your local coupons, check your local prices. Don't ever buy anything from Harbor Freight without a coupon. I'm telling you, you can save yourself some money. Uh, I got some guys, a quick rant. I got some guys at work, they bust my chops because I use Harbor Freight stuff and not Snap-on and not Mac and whatever. And it's really funny because I walked by a guy the other day struggling with his flashlight. I said, hey, uh, flashlights are on sale. Oh, I don't, I, don't buy, I don't buy Harbor Freight. Okay. Well, there's that. And there's uh, the guys that say, oh, the wrenches break. I've never broken a wrench. The ratchets break. Okay, well... Maybe my cheap little Harbor Freight can't torque something down to 700 foot-pounds because it's a quarter-inch drive and you're not supposed to anyway. But if you don't abuse the tools, you don't break them. Uh, I have had nothing but good luck. Oh my gosh, I tried to make a shorter video and this one's longer. Okay, have a good one. Don't forget to schedule your car's maintenance or your car will schedule it for you. Be safe.